Yeah, that's right. I've got Steve and he's coming from the breakfast show. So, and we're all ready to cook this fantastic recipe, aren't we? Yeah, we are. I, well, I'm pretty keen to take uh, Mike on it again with Scrabble first. <laughs> it shouldn't That'll take be easy. long, to be honest. <laughs> <laughs> no. <laughs> it won't. It won't, Steve. <laughs> so, so we're going to cook Anzac biscuits, aren't we? But yeah. we've got a little, a little twist. So this is my, my grandmother's Anzac recipe. Yep. And just one day in the kitchen, I'm making it, I've got some cranberries left over, chucked them in, and the result was... I heard choirs of angels singing hallelujah and thought we're onto something here. A Kranzac. Kranzacs. Brilliant. Exactly. That's it. it's, I mean, it sounds awesome. Like, you put one ingredient and you claim the whole recipe for yourself. So that's exactly, isn't that how it works? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. I know, yeah, that's what I do. There's no original <laughs> recipe in the world. You just change something slightly and call it mine. Shh, you're giving away all the secrets. <laughs> <Sorry>. <laughs> Brilliant. Well, so Joan is a little bit later and we're going to be showing you how to make these fantastic Kranzacs. And, um... Yeah, and we're going to get to eat them at the end of the show. Great to have you with us in the cafe kitchen and joining us this morning. It's a big welcome to the breezes, Steve Joel. Yes. Thank you. Very much. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> the man who added one ingredient to a recipe and then all of a sudden claimed it as his own. Uh, but that's good, that's fine. I'll that's give good. credit to my grandmother, what do you want? Oh, yeah, true. And grandma's recipe would have been bonza anyway. It was very good. So you've just added something. But this is a fundraiser for the RSA. Yeah, so the, the last couple of years we've done this, we came up with the recipe, just a stroke of lightning genius one day, <clears throat> even though Mel's been doing it for years. <laughs> <laughs> she should have claimed credit for this she years ago. She's a bit, she a bit slow but sometimes, Mel. <laughs> <laughs> it's all right. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like I'm getting in between something that I shouldn't. <laughs> it's, all right. it's all right. You bought biscuits, it's fine. <laughs> so so you, added, you added, what did you add? We added the cranberries. So I took my grandmother's yeah. recipe, added cranberries, yeah. and just I uh, took some to work the next day because I'm a nice guy. That's yes, how I roll. Good, good. And uh, a friend of mine at work called them Cranzacs, Cranberry Anzacs. Mm -hmm. And another friend at work, Kath, who I work with on the radio, said, you know what we could do is actually, because it was getting close to Anzac Day, why don't we market these and sell them? And so now Thornton New World bake them. Last year, for example, in one week, we sold 5,000 packets of biscuits. Good grief. Yeah, well, that's it's amazing. a brilliant fundraiser. So, and is that Kath I used to flat with back in the early days? Yes, oh, okay, she never had any good ideas back then. <laughs> hey, Kath, <laughs> hey? You're making friends everywhere Couldn't even today. find the vacuum cleaner. <laughs> OK, right. Uh, let's, get on with the, uh, let's get on with the recipe then. You talk us through it with the, two, right. with the, with the pro there. Well, I'm a bit intimidated, actually, standing next to a chef. <laughs> but it's pretty simple. With, with um, Anzacs, you know how it works. You've got the golden syrup, you've got the butter in here. With the official recipe, I usually add a little bit more butter. Oh, okay. oh yeah, yeah, we like you, that one. Just <laughs> any, any <bit>. Mark <laughs> loves his butter. <laughs> the only thing I would do is maybe, oh, it's turned down quite low. So just kind of, you don't want it to boil, obviously, as right. everybody knows. And once that has melted, you're going to put your uh, baking soda in there. Yeah. But in the meantime, the dry ingredients are going in. It's pretty simple. Okay, it's the good. same quantities of coconut, oats and cranberries. Yep. You've got your brown sugar in there, which Chef Mark is crushing down so you don't get lots of big lumps of brown sugar in the recipe. How are you feeling about this, Mark? Uh, yeah, I'm just taking my time so I did it right. Right, I'm He's good. <laughs> no one ever said Grandma. <laughs> no. Taking his time because we've got a bit of time to fill up and it's a very simple <laughs> recipe. <laughs> so what, no, so what, what's the dry ingredients again? So take me through that. Dry Same ingredients. Flour. Sorry, sorry, Mark, you go. No, it's, uh, it's probably, you're probably more qualified than I am for my recipe. JB, you go. <laughs> yeah. you, you tell we'll a bit of Mark. We'll do half and half. <laughs> flour. Yes. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh, half and half, like alternating. Okay, yeah, sorry. Yeah. Flour, brown sugar, oats, coconut. Pour it at the same time. Baking powder. Yes. Um, you need a bit of cinnamon too. Or okay. if you've got mixed spice, uh, that'll, that'll do as well, but I like to use a bit of cinnamon. Um, and have we mentioned the cranberries? No, we haven't. And the cranberries, yeah. yeah, yeah. And that's <laughs> yeah, the secret the ingredient. The main ingredient. <laughs> the main ingredient. <laughs> That really turns is. them into Kranzacs. OK, so, so you've got to melt your butter down. Like, this is so simple, I've never made an Anzac biscuit before. So here you go, it's easy to do. The, to again, do. With, again with the ingredients, the, the, the official recipe says two... Is it one tablespoon? One tablespoon of uh, golden syrup. But I, generous. Right. You know, one big tablespoon. I have little, heard that I, about I you, Steve. I that he's given us a different recipe. <laughs> 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 I, give, I give out the recipe that makes them turn out OK. <laughs> so if you want a great one, you've got to go and buy it. <laughs> yeah, that's right. <laughs> or or get, get me to make them for yeah. you. So are they on sale now in the supermarket? Uh, they'll be on sale from or every year. Cranzac Day is one week before Anzac Day. So this year they're on sale from this coming Tuesday, the 18th. And where do we get them from? Brilliant. 
you will be able to order them online if you go right. to the Breeze website. Yes. Or Thorn to New World will be selling them direct to the public. Okay, thebreeze.co.nz. I don't know that website because I do a country <laughs> show every Sunday night. Thanks for the opportunity to plug. A Cranzac Biscuits with Steve Joel from The Breeze. You can listen to him on The Breeze in the mornings in Wellington with Kath. Wow. Yeah. In fact, in a lot of parts of the country. But a lot thank of parts you. of the, the country, um, yes. I was just thinking it must be a bit like being on The Bachelor standing next to a tall, handsome man. <laughs> Is that? Yeah, probably, probably right. just the same. Yeah, sweet. <laughs> Don't jinx me, I'll be off this show soon too. Okay, you're right. Right. <laughs> now, what have you added? I've added baking a bit of baking soda, baking and that's going to froth up because it's nice and warm. It smells good. I've just realised I'm breaking the one rule my wife told me not to. Don't put your head down, show your bald spot. <laughs> Every time I do that, she's like, oh, he's going to do that. <laughs> so, put the baking soda in, it's frothing up. We're going to tip that into... I was hoping you would have made a well by now to be. That's, you oh, know. Look, there you go. Dealing with professionals. <laughs> <laughs> there we go. In there. And really, it's a pretty simple matter of mixing it up, which I know Mark is particularly uh, good at. Good at. And I was going to say, um, fussy about. Wants to really get it right. Well, I don't know. Yeah, about so that. we're sort of <laughs> turning and folding. And yes. we don't want to overwork this, do we? No, quite right. Why not? What happens if you overwork it? What happens if you overwork it, Mark? Yeah, that is a very good question. <laughs> <laughs> what happens is the biscuits actually get chewy because you break out the gluten in the flour and ah, it kind of... So okay. the biscuits can get a bit too oh, gluggy stodgy. and chewy. Oh, yeah, these are going to say stodgy. Yeah, yeah. yeah stodgy oh, is enough. Same, yeah. <laughs> same thing. OK, good. I so... can't work under these conditions. <laughs> <laughs> He's out of here. Uh, is it the consistency looking right? Will we be able yeah, to shape good. biscuits out of that? So I would you... think so, yeah. So you just want enough sort of liquid, don't you, just, to, um, just so they come together? Yeah. Perfect. A bit like that. You happy, yeah. Steve? I'm very happy. Good. Okay. Yeah. So then it's just a case of what moulding them. Is there any particular well, you, you size do a master you like? Class for us. <clears throat> you're going and then to. We'll both do it, and you can judge jaws, the best. I think you're going to need a bigger oh, tray, okay. but luckily <laughs> two. Nice. So, <laughs> there we go. So yeah, just I would normally get like a tablespoon, maybe just get a tablespoon full of mixture. Mm -hmm. Get it into a ball, just like Mark's doing. Work it around a little bit. Get the the moisture in there. Yeah. Oh, it's still and warm. Then, yeah. No, it's nice, eh? <laughs> <laughs> that came out all wrong. <laughs> oh, so you put them as balls? You do, and then you squash them oh, down. Oh, then you squash them down. <laughs> then you squash them down. Yeah, OK. This is, this this is, is <laughs> taking a turn for the worse, isn't it? Hey, all look, over the place. No, but this is a fundraiser, folks. RSA, yeah. the money, if you buy Steve Joel's biscuits, they go towards the RSA, which yeah. is a great cause, and they are on sale a week before Anzac Day. If you need more details, go to thebreeze.co.nz. We'll also put details on our website, thecafe.co.nz. Just like that. Oh, good. So you just fork it a little. <laughs> And then, you, and then you sort it. Is that about... I was that, told this is a family show. Is that the right, can, is that the right thickness? <laughs> is that what you like? That's how I like it, yeah. Okay, Just good. how I like it, Mike. <laughs> that's that's nice. the way, uh-huh, uh-huh. <laughs> and, and then we put them in the oven. Quite right. Any particular temperature? I'm going to say 180. <laughs> He's going to say... OK, no, good. Yeah, 180 degrees should take about 12, 14 minutes, depending on the oven and also how big you decide to do the biscuit. Oh, this is fantastic. OK, yeah. really love this, Steve. Cranzax, if you want the recipe, as we said, go to thecafe.co.nz. If you want to know where to buy them, what you can do is go to thebreeze.co.nz. It's going to be delicious. Uh, right, it's morning tea time, and those Cranzac biscuits will be just the treat. Mark and Steve, how are they looking? They are looking fantastic. They've just come out of the oven, so they're really hot. So you just want to let them cool down in like a couple of minutes to just so they firm up slightly, but still nice and chewy in the middle. Mark's what? got this uh, this awesome trick that he's uh, doing where he's just making sure they're all okay by putting his mitts on every single one of them. Those ones are okay. I'll just keep these ones. Yeah, they're all right. Bring them over. Bring them, uh, bring them over. And, bring and them here's over. some we bought earlier. Yeah. <laughs> Actually, let's. There you go. We're we still talking. Bring them over. Bring them over. Have we put my trays on here? Is it Yeah, let's go. There you go. I like hot so I'm fine with that. I'm going with all. If I can just. These are the what you can buy at the supermarket. So these are ones that the folks at Thorn and New World are making. You can buy them in troop trays yes. or in packets of five. Yum. And mm. chocolate dips. Create a little, there oh, we go, look at love that. It. <laughs> you get the chocolate dip version as well. That's for you. Yum, thank you. you.